Yes, I be ballin' on these niggas, got me feelin' like sports Dash got so much wood, I could build me a fort What's up, YouTube world? It's your boy, Fat Dallas, a.k.a. Mr. Tutty Tutty Bringing you some Madden 18 tips Today, we gonna go over two easy but key elements to help you take your game to a whole nother level we're going to talk about a few key things on offense and then a couple small tweaks that you can make on defense and it will help you make your opponent make bad decisions and that's what it's all about making turnovers on the defensive side of the ball and having advantages on the offensive side of the ball now you can see my offense right now we are slowly upgrading we don't have even close to the best team on YouTube. It's a lot of people who got 91, 92 overalls. But as far as people that's posting on YouTube, I have the bare minimum team. Now, we have the motivator on the right hand position, but we just picked up 98 overall Jason Taylor. And you will see him in the top three cards finally because I had the free rookie premier Lattimore. I still got him in the top three. So then I got 90. 8 overall boosted up Jason Taylor and then we went and picked up Charles Haley also so shout out to Solar Mutt he been working with your boy behind the scenes helping me get my team a little better because I'm playing weekend league right now grinding trying to get to that 20 21 win threshold depending on how boring the game gets that's the biggest thing on weekend league you gotta completely shut everything in life down and just go through the boring stretch and the uh, halfback wham and the craziness over and over and over to try to get the best rewards but right here you can see me making adjustments on defense putting that hard flat over there in the Tampa look with the new pickup also Rondé Barber and we come up with an easy six points on defense now this is another game right here in the weekend league and you can see me setting my audibles and I realize you don't got to go into gun bunch I can go into three different formations in a small package I actually came out in practice mode and labbed it a little bit. I came out in a formation. I found two or three decent plays, but then I went through the audibles from that formation while I was in the lab, and I was like, okay, so these are something that I can jump right into in-game without having to change my personnel. I can set my personnel in one package and audible. So make sure that you put a very OP wide receiver in the lineup, if you play playing rags, you want to play with somebody with 92, 93, 94 speed. So then when you audible into somebody who's playing cover three or cover two, disguise, and you can't read the, de the defense, like cover four, you can always get an advantage. As you can see, he has 97, 98 speed Deion Sanders over there. When I audible into my formation, it puts them in a disadvantage because now my fastest guy is lined up with a safety. Now, Deion has to respect the outside receiver. And he has to try to help the other receiver depending on what coverage he is in. Because if he jumps straight back to guard the guy deep, I can playmaker my tight end or the other wide receiver underneath. And then he will be stuck on the linebacker. So I'm all about having advantages. Now that is a key tip for you too also. If you got a lot of speed on your team and not run blockers type of uh, offense... Make sure that you get you a small package, go into a practice mode or some solos, go into a small package, find you two or three really good plays out of that, and then just push to the left and the right in the audibles. See what other packages you have, and then find you one or two good plays out of that, and then now you will have a five to six play sequence that you can audible into on the fly. And you can see me doing this over and over. I am abusing all the mismatches that his defense is showing me because he has to respect my run now he has to respect my pass he has to respect underneath and over the top at the same time if his guys are dropping back he has to respect the run it's too hard to cover all that at one time his user cannot shoot the gap on defense we are setting up all these adjustments we are looking to shut down the run when he tries to scramble out and throw a quick pass we have that hard flat on that side I put more people in the box. I had four people over there begging for him to run the ball. He had to make an audible when he did the play action. You want to roll out to the right side, and when you throw the ball quick, it's a hard flat right there instead of a cloud flat. Now, it would have been better for him to throw it down the field and take a chance, but he didn't. So, that's a tip for y'all. Load the box as much as possible, whether you blitzing or not. And on offense, try to find two or three different formations. If y'all need help with setting up formations, smash that like button. 40 likes will let me know that y'all won't help on the offensive side so you can actually win games. Let's go.